Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Accenture assessment as all of you are aware that on 10th of December they are again going to hire new on-campus candidates. So if you are looking for the right resources, right questions to prepare then this video is for you. Now let me share the previous year question along with some recent questions which will be very much helpful for your upcoming drive because Mercer Metal is conducting the exam. So the questions can be repeated okay now let me share the questions just before that guys if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please make sure that you have subscribed this channel and watching the playlist of Accenture or any company that you want and comment down in which status you are right now like if you have given the exam already or if you are looking for interview resources or anything else then please let me know I'll try to assist you with that okay hey you ready for the future tech no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more we'll get you ready open up that door so the question is uh, describing that you are given an array a okay then having some dividends for that you were uh, given three numbers d q and r a dividend can be found using the rule that is dividend is equal to divisors into quotient plus remainder that is d is equal to i mean dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder you know this right but still this simple formula you have to implement in your code okay nothing else so what they have given that is first an array of integers at first they have given all, all array elements are dividends okay then an input that is divisor then also an input that is representing a quotient then a integer an integer that is representing a remainder okay then the length of the array nothing else so output specification is return an integer value representing i hope this is not visible still i am just telling you representing the index of the dividends okay so return an integer value representing the index of the dividend okay index of the dividend you have to find okay and if the index of the dividend not found then return minus one okay so basically i have not got the a sample input output so let me just share with you right now so yeah so let's say let's say this is a, a dividend let's say this is an array okay this is an array two three nine five etc etc okay this is an array okay then you are given a divisor at first let's say four okay then a quotient let's say two and then a remainder one okay so you have to find you have so these are four integers uh like these are four inputs okay and then after all they, there will be one input that is length of the array okay so these five will be input okay then you have to find if the formula if the formula is matching then the correct index of the dividend you have to return okay that means if if the dividend is equal to is equal to divisor into quotient plus r if this is matching if this then you have to return that index so let me just check it so this is the divisor okay this is the uh, like quotient okay so this is the remainder okay so d q r are given so 4 multiplied 2 plus 1 that is 4 multiplied 2 that is 8 plus 1 that is 9 okay so 9 if we found that in any of this element then we have to return that index okay we have to return that index so here 0 1 2 is the index so you have to return that we have found one dividend so we have to return the index of that dividend okay so that is 9 so i hope you once to the task right so let me just share one thing again so uh yeah let me just remove all these okay so let's say uh yeah it's the same thing let's say for, uh, 4 8 uh, 10 
12 given okay and it is given that 4 is the divisor okay and 2 is the uh, let's say quotient and remainder is also sorry remainder is also 2 so you can find it the 10 is here okay so d into q that is 4 into 2 8 plus 2 that is 10 so we found that 10 at the second index so we have to return yes 2 okay so let's say this is not present so the if the remainder is 1 if the remainder is 1 so the dividend value will be for this case d dividend is equal to d into q plus r so 4 into 8 2 8 plus 1 this is 9 so we cannot find that 9 in this dividends array so we have to return minus 1 in this case okay so i hope you understood how to solve this problem okay i mean at least you have understood what's the task okay so if you understood then please give the answer in the comment section i am not going to give you the solution again so if you want the solution then please access the playlist or just purchase the materials anywhere you can find the answer okay or you can just go okay basically what should be your approach to find the solution like at first they will give you the inputs okay you don't have to take the inputs okay you don't have to take the inputs just write the function write the function okay so what you have to do inside the function at first go through all the element of the array using a for loop okay go through all the elements of the array using for loop then check if if d into q plus r if d into q plus r is equal to is equal to array i if this is, is equal to is equal to array i then return the i okay return the i nothing else so this is what you have to do so i hope you once stood in like anyhow you can solve the problem i guess so basically uh, this is not the proper solution so let me just tell you like in python if you are solving normally okay many students are facing one problem that is let's say you know python okay it's fine but in exam what uh, what format they will give that is let's say uh, this is main function okay this is main function in python and here the function is called and returned and printed okay so here the main function logic is written okay you know this format is fine but in exam they will initialize with class okay so you have to know the implementation of the class and object okay so this way you have to implement your code so please learn how to implement the code using oops concept okay so i hope you will guys give importance whatever i have told so let me just remove this and let me show the next question so i hope you will guys give the answer in the comment section again i am requesting you to have the prime materials of accenture in which i have included all the recent questions and answers all the recent technical questions mock test like all the coding questions okay advanced plus basic and then let's say mock test of ms office cloud and everything okay so if you want then just damn me at my study instagram.com slash technotf the money will not be wasted okay and you will thank me later when you will crack the exam okay so let me show the next question so the next question is regarding rebound heights okay rebound height so basically in this problem this is also i have solved these questions earlier so that's why i am very much confident that most of the questions will be repeated because the question was same like on second or third or fourth of october and this is being repeated again okay so you can expect the same questions again okay so just like there will be probability of 90 percent that question will be repeated okay so uh, at first uh, what is the problem stating i don't know but still the input format is uh, like an uh, an integer height representing the initial height okay and integer v representing the initial velocity and integer v m representing the final velocity okay so this is fine so value of h v and v m it's provided just you have to return an integer value representing the height of which of uh, to which the ball rebounds after n n bounces okay so i don't know whatever stated earlier but let me just show the implementation sorry explanation okay so here as you can see the explanation so at first the input format is 10 okay so this is the value of h this is the value of h this is the value of b so h v 
and the v is the 5 is the value of vm okay vn or bm so vn okay so the output is 160 how as you can see they have calculated the values this way so uh, value of h is 10 okay value of h is 10 value of b is provided 20 value of bn is provided 5 so basically they have provided the uh, formula earlier okay so en e to the power n is equal to v by v n so v by v n is equal to 20 by 5 okay so this becomes 4 okay then h height this is what you have to calculate rebound heights okay you have to find the uh, rebound height okay so h dash is equal to 10 multiply e to the power n 10 multiply e to the power sorry uh, yeah e to the power n uh, n square okay e to the power n square so 10 into e to the power n means 4 10 into 4 square okay so 4 square means 16 16 plus 10 is equal to 16 0 okay 160 so that's why this is output so i hope you understood so let me just show the second sample input so this is not visible still it's fine so let's say let me just guess the second sample input output as you can see here 16 and 5 are mentioned so let me just guess the next one so let's say h is equal to provided 10 okay and v is equal to provided 5 so let's say vn is equal to something uh yeah let's say 2 okay so uh, so what you have to do sorry let's say this is uh 50 okay so let's say uh these are okay so now en e to the power n is equal to v by vn so v means 50 by 2 vn so 50 by 2 is just 25 okay so en is calculated so h dash will be 10 into this 25 square okay 10 into 25 square so 25 square means 625 so 625 10 will be 625 0 will be the correct answer so this is not real but still this can be the proper explanation okay so i hope you understood what's the task basically what you have to do uh, in exam that is so all of the inputs are provided in the main function okay so yeah so this is main function and here all the inputs one input uh, input one input two three all are provided v v n h sub uh, all are provided okay so here inside function in arguments all threes are mentioned so basically what you have to do that is you have to calculate the en okay this is a variable let's say e is equal to or en is equal to v by vn so you have taken the arguments here okay v vn you have taken all those arguments so you have just calculate this this is new variable and v by vn you have calculated then the value of h dash let's say h d is equal to e n uh, square okay this value e n square uh, and with that you have to multiply the uh, 10 means height height okay h so i hope you want to just just you have to return return this h dash value okay so i hope you want to watch the task is okay so this is basic basic task that's why i'm not going to solve these questions again so if you want the solutions okay so just watch the playlist regarding accenture or any company that you want and if you want like all the solutions with a single pdf so just damn me at me star id okay so i'll try to assist you this is paid but very affordable okay so basically guys if you are enjoying this sessions if you are loving this session so just like just click on the subscribe and watch the playlist okay so that will motivate me to make more content so thank you for today's session please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends